Hey everybody, Beniza again. Uh, today I received an Orlando Magic fan pack box. Um, unboxed it already. There's the Orlando Magic logo because I tried to do the video a couple of times and blah, 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 can't talk properly. But anyway, got a birthday card saying happy birthday, uh, Ben. There's the happy birthday card with the Orlando Magic thing on, and basically saying, you know, happy birthday. Um, only got a couple of things, with the box being the size it is, I know it's not a massive box or anything, but still, I was expecting a little bit more, but it was, now I think about it, 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 what, it is a little light, um, but anyway, I appreciate it anyway, because they, um, folded everything and put a little birthday ribbon on, on everything and it got a couple of items with the card so got an Orlando Magic can cozy or koozie however you want to pronounce it tomato tomato etc um, but that's the can cozy I'm going to call it cozy because you know I can but anyway got a t-shirt it's only a large and you know Looking at my big fat face, a large isn't going to fit me. So, but it's a be it's better than a lot of fan mails from other teams that I've got. So I'm not going to complain today. This is the back of it. Uh, Chase, proud sponsor or whatever. And this is the front. 2015-16 Pure Magic T-shirt. So, uh, not particularly the best coloured to send me either but because you know being a big baby I like to eat my food and spill it everywhere on, my, on myself but that's not their fault that's my fault so I was pretty happy with that can't really complain a t-shirt although not too big for me and a can cozy I'm not going to use but it's it's nice to do because it's nice to see what you can get and what they'll send you. Um, so far, the New York Knicks have been the best team from all around the professional leagues, whether it's basketball, NBA, um, NFL, football, or MLB uh, for baseball and ice hockey. The NHL um, they fed, fed, they sent uh, three scarves. Um, three drawstring bags and caps and stickers and magnet things to put on your wherever fridge, I guess. Um, and they sent it to within two, not even not even 48 hours. I think that the, whoever packed up, oh, we got this email, you know, just threw everything in, boxed it up, raced to the post office, or did it as the the guy whoever picked up the mail there to have someone from USPS or FedEx pick up stuff or they take it out and I don't think it even I think it took like 36 hours or 40 hours 40 hours to get here or something it wasn't in 48 hours so um, so the magic one that I just showed you not as good but I'm, it's nowhere near as bad as I've got and my favorite team uh, or teams uh, Pittsburgh, so the Steelers, Pirates and Penguins, so we don't have an NBA team, but the Pirates keep sending pocket schedules and player cards, um, two pocket schedules, not even one sticker on one pocket schedules, and the pocket schedules for the current season, which is pretty much almost over, but a lot of teams are sending pocket schedules and calendars for the previous year or the previous season. I'm not a pocket schedule collector. I know there's a lot of people out there who collect pocket schedules. Um, so I've kept them all. Because I, I don't see the sense of uh, throw it away. Because you never know. That, and this is another reason why I like to get fan packs from teams. is Because it's a, more of a social thing. You know, you go around someone's house or you meet someone down the street or something. You know, because you've gone for a walk. And, hi, oh, I see you're a Bulls fan. Because I've got a Bulls t-shirt on. Yeah, I'm a Bulls fan. Oh, I'm on the... I'm an Orlando Magic fan. Oh, I just got a T-shirt in the mail from them. You know, it's like, all oh, right. They might have some training cards for the Bulls or um, a T-shirt for the Bulls or a baseball cap from the Bulls that they've got stuck in their 
cupboard like I've got New York Knicks caps stuck here, which have never been worn. You know, it's like, well, you know, I'll, I'll trade you this Orlando Magic T-shirt for your Bulls cap or baseball card, tra trading cards or uh, whatever they may have. So it's it's more of a social thing, you know. Although you might not like the same teams, you know, but well, the, the Orlando Magic are playing the Bulls in Orlando next week. You know, let's go to let's go and watch the game. So, you know, it's a social thing as well. It's meeting people and making friends as well for me. Um, so, that was my Orlando Magic fan pack now day, and I wasn't really expecting anything, um, especially so quickly. Um, so, whoever emailed them at the um, Amway Centre to say that I'd try to contact them. You know, they obviously emailed someone there and they got it out pretty quick, which I thank you for because I think I tried to email uh, the Orlando Magic, uh, the top, the ticket email, and no one ever replied. So I guess whoever at the Amway Centre um, had an email to email someone to say, Oi, this guy's emailing me, not you. But, you know, I guess they ask politely, you know, he's he's asking for something, please send him something. So, thank you Orlando Magic, you didn't have to send anything. Um, pretty impressed, a free t-shirt and a, a can cosy. I still want to say beer cosy, because most people I see using these cosies have got them stuck around a can of beer. But, use them for soda as well. Or energy drinks or whatever. So, I'm sure my wife, where she works, will be Orlando Magic fan somewhere, so she might be able to trade it for something. Um, or I might be able to tra trade it for something for, with somebody. So most of the people where we work are more football fans than basketball fans. So, But that was the, the Orlando Magic mail day. Uh, pretty happy with that one. That's... To me, that's a, what a fan pack should be, you know, to show off your pride for the team. And they sent something, you, you know, you know, although the t-shirt doesn't fit me or won't fit me, you know, it's like, oh, look, I'm an Orlando Magic fan. Oh, look, I'm drinking a soda. I'm an, I'm an Orlando Magic fan. So, you know, so that's how you show, you can show your support. Even some stickers. I've got a Carolina Panther sticker here uh, that I need to put on listia.com. If you know what listia.com is, cool. If you don't, check it out. Um, it's a points or credits paste um, website. You can sell stuff that you don't particularly want. Um, a lot of the stuff like trading cards a lot of people sell their trading cards on there other than eBay because they know they're only going to get like 25 cents on eBay and they don't particularly want to, you know, go through that and people bitch and moan about $4 or $3 shipping for a 25 cents card, you know, and it's a, a card that they know that not, no one's going to want on eBay anyway because it's not worth anything or 25 cents at most so they would put it on list yeah to get 500 points or a thousand points or something and just put it in a plain white envelope with a with a stamp and mail it out so you know and there's a lot of cards on there that get sold for a million points over so check it out but anyway before i go on, go on too much thank you for watching and Leave a comment if you want the t-shirt and the Orlando Magic uh, can cosy. Maybe we can trade something for it. Um, thank you.